Hello and welcome back to the Metropol Grid. My name is Andre. My name is Patrick. All right. Uh, <laughs> hey, thanks for joining me, Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> no problem, Andre. Uh, this is, uh, I'm actually, I don't remember which round or game this is, but that's fine because this is just game five. Uh, this tournament was about five rounds and we're not going to show all the games because there's some other content that we want to push onto oh, the yeah, internet real soon. That. So uh, we're only going to do the best of, uh, you could say, and this is a pretty interesting game. Um, so let's see, on the left we have Dominic. Uh, yeah. This is Dom. Dom has been on the channel before, and if you're in Montreal, you know Dom as a Jinteki player. I was going to say, he is Jinteki in Montreal. Yeah. And Dom I was, I, I, at this tournament, I expressed my surprise that he was playing Blue Sun. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird. I've never seen him play Blue Sun before. This is probably the first time he's played Blue Sun in right. any sort of competitive form. Maybe. Uh, Dom is playing with a snare sleeves, which should give you an idea of what <laughs> he likes to do. His play style is... It's awesome. <laughs> I think he's a fun player to play against. He is... is he talks a lot, he he mind games you, he's terrifying, he's a very good player, but a lot of fun. It's really exciting, his background comes out in poker, uh, you know how <laughs> yeah, you have a lot of yeah, players... Yeah, it does, oh my god, yeah. it does. His, a lot of players, you see their backgrounds in magic or something else, and that kind of comes through with their playstyle. Uh, yeah. His is poker, and Dom's boy a, Dom's a cool. bluffer. Yeah, it's all advanced advance. Yeah. Um, on the right, we have John. John was just on the channel for the That's last two the games. Swoop John V. He is playing Chaos Theory, uh, that side Chaos Theory, and he is playing three account siphons. Yeah, he is. Yeah. I, I wonder if we can see Julien's signature on this sheet. Oh, yeah, you know, we could probably sell it. Tell. Ma maybe we should have yeah, done maybe some we comparison. Uh, we'll see uh, if we can find it. Yeah, we'll see if we can find it. Uh, but it looks like we're off. Um, Dom is okay with the things that he has, but uh, John looking not so good. So the unfortunate thing is that Account Siphon is not that good against the Blue Sun. Blue Sun does have that economic flexibility. Yeah, they can go to down nine. to zero and come back from that pretty easily. Yeah. Well, we've seen a lot of Blue Sun. You know, uh, one yes. thing I, I like about Montreal's meta... Everyone else is saying Wayland is is in the pits right now. Montreal still loves Wayland. I went to this tournament and I think I played mostly Blue Sun all day. Yeah. Uh, and after that, uh, I was uh, worried that the store championship that we just had was going to be all Blue Sun. It <laughs> wasn't. I don't think I ran into any Blue Sun. That's true. Uh, I and mainly that that is because it was the last most wanted list tournament, so everyone wanted to put in their food coats and prepaid right. gate and all that fun stuff before that became tournament illegal. So we, we just saw a turn where Dom had HQ open the whole time. Yep. And John was not able to capitalize that. No, that could have been a siphon. real sweet siphon. Yeah. Uh, maybe quality of time into siphon just like the game we saw before. But it looks like we're just going to go for that slow roll, okay. which might be useful against something like Blue Sun with all that glacier. Get the Magnum Opus out turn two, technically between turn one and turn two. And now we <clears> have the ability to just credit up and avoid things like Seasource, uh, Punitive, Mid-Seasons. Right, so we did that without a click he yeah. used the smc that's interesting because he spends to to gain a click and then he's probably just going to use do you stay on the click yeah yeah it's interesting it's like smc to kate if you install yeah, smc, SMC kate. to kate basically you're pending spending five for uh, six to install the smc yeah because if, it, if you get it discounts. between turns which yeah. is not too bad yeah but in this case oh, okay yeah okay uh, so it looks so like we reorganized uh, hq a little bit yeah a That's bit some... of aggressive restructuring so you see uh Dom just clicked up till nine and then credit restructure restructures put you on 20 and that's kind of where you want to be There's no pressure on the board uh, Clone chip out there could mean a return to SMC and with the money from uh, A couple lock picks uh, cool. A couple lock picks is good Yeah I think there are some code gates you can expect They're usually low strength code gates And there's too. an inti Oh that's a liability huh Yeah <laughs> That. I mean, it, curtain wall hey, for what? It starts at one strength. It starts. It only needs to spend eighteen to get up to strength for curtain wall. Yeah, yeah, eighteen, and then three more, and that does retain strength. So if you're stacking curtain walls, that's jokes absolutely on, true. Jokes on you, Corp. Retain strength. Yeah, worth noting. Uh, but we are playing the slow roll here. <laughs> uh, draw some cards, play some event economy on the corp side at least, and twenty-five to four. Things are looking real good. Dom is playing super slow, which makes me suspicious of these sort of uh, money-based kill tactics. You know what makes me suspicious? Playing against Dom. Uh, Dom, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's true. Uh, same old thing on the table. Uh, it's worth noting that Dom has no idea about the count siphons. Nothing has been spoiled. That's a good point. Yeah. So uh, we'll see how we play around that. Install two pieces of ice. Okay. If that is an agenda, we are in a really good spot. Ten credits might not be enough to threaten a remote, especially if that is a curtain wall. I'm... Guessing it's a curtain wall. Probably a curtain wall. Uh, but the John looks like John isn't even going to try that. Yeah. He just wants money right now. 
So SMC did come out on the table, but we're not using it. We're spending all these clicks playing event economy and event draw, I mean, and then putting cards on the table. Yeah, so, and you meant a magnum opus. Yeah, right? sorry, magnum opus. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah totally. <clears throat> um, so the question is here, do you contest? <sighs> Even something like a spider web is going to be, what, five credits? Well, that's not Do that you want to risk a bad. successful run? Yeah, that's you true. spend so much money and yeah, do you? he gets all his money back. We know John's deck does have at least two Plastic Creed Carapaces in it, so once those comes out, the game is uh Yeah, he is on prepared to go tag me, but... Blue Sun is hard to rush, I guess. Well, I, I like rushing in Blue Sun, but that's not for everyone, I don't think. But it looks like we're just going to take some money with the Magnum. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's what you do, because Blue Sun can return a rest card to your hand. Yeah. So he's going to show that he had a snare there the whole time. And it begins. Brings uh, something back to his hand, shuffles it up, installs a new card. Hi, Dom. <laughs> and advance, advance. So yeah. that does two things. Firstly, we know there's a snare in HQ, and now we know any card non advanced into remote could be a snare. Good luck finding the Atlas. <laughs> Yay. Yeah. Oh, what a fun game. Oh, this is going to be fun. Uh, I so actually really like that strategy in Blue Sun. I haven't seen it cool. done at a high level, but yeah. doing like Edge of World behind a deep server. Yeah, return it. Return it. Yeah. Whatever. You do have to run two pointers, though, for that, or like unadvanceable cards. Otherwise, things don't look like this where install advanced events is obviously not the snare yeah uh, same old thing quality time we are looking for something we're looking for something real hard and it's probably a blast screen, i'll be honest okay uh, smc even maybe breakers also good he's up to his maximum uh mu right now oh yeah hey that's all they did MU. we see a console during his last game uh astrolabe no no okay, console cool. i don't know if you need the console <clears throat> with uh already five mu yeah let's see if something nice i think astrolabe maybe true but he does like having i mean i mean he obviously did well. He, yeah. he does well in his games with, yeah, with this yeah. break, so. It looks like we're going to have advance, advance, advance on that end. Tri-Rec into Curtain Wall. <laughs> hey, that is a free Curtain Wall. We can return that for hand. So basically, we spent five credits to gain 14 off the Curtain Wall and have the nice piece of ice that we don't have to move if we don't want to. Um, back to Corset, I think that's really good, Pryrek in these Blue Sun decks. Yeah, Pryrek is great in, in Blue Sun. So we also know we have three pointers, so that's something maybe you want to worry about. Punitive, um, I don't know what else could come with three pointers. Punitive mm. seems good. Yeah, but with well, a plastic screen on the table. What do you think about this? Do you think the neutral agendas in the core set work better with Wayland than any other faction? Uh, it depends. Well, punitive. Sorry, uh, Pryrek in particular needs really big ice, and there's only two factions that have ice of that size, and that is HB and Wayland. Yeah, I think the most expensive yellow ice is. Probably Flair? Flair and then Susanna and Makoto. Mm -hmm. And those are kind of not as good as getting like a free Wotan or Janus nope. or something like that. Janus from accounting? Seems. <laughs> Oh, she, she's really two-faced about everything. I don't invite her to the office Christmas party. <laughs> uh, we have an R&D interface out, which is going to be responded with a second piece of ice on R&D. And now we have a card in that server. Is He's not even returning that curtain wall. He's nope. just leaving it there because he knows. Yeah, you don't need to return I'll, it. I'll, I'll take it when I need it. Yeah, it's not overstate AI. It's not any... It doesn't yeah, have to, it's totally safe. It's totally safe. So the question is, do you spend all the money to break through a curtain wall and another piece of ice to find a snare? Yeah. <laughs> is that something you want to do? Is it? Is it, John? Is it? John? Hey. These are going to be the good questions. Also, one piece of ice on HQ. Uh, we could siphon, I suppose. But it looks like I don't even know if siphoning is worth it's it. It's not going to do it much in terms of econ denial, but it is going it's to gonna give get credits, economy. which is pretty good. But also, just give him tags, which makes everything easier. I know that he's going to probably install the second plastic as soon yeah, as he can. I think you need to. Um, a refractor is out on the table, so face checking now, what's the worst that you could hit? Uh, sentry? Assassin's pretty bad? Taurus? Uh, Taurus, yeah, you're right. Grim. Oh, I forget about Taurus. Taurus and Grim are totally a problem. Yeah. Um, I mean, Taurus would, would wreck him right now. Uh, well, I guess we do have clone chip into SMC if things go really sour. That's a good point. But we do have a Mimic, so now the Caduceus are not going to be that economically unviable. Yeah, he's got the full rig out there, yeah. including Inti. With Inti. He paid no money for that, so let's remember uh, That's the a good savings point. off of Inti. No tempo hit off of Inti. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Let's see. If uh, if John does break an Inti, uh, does break the current wall with Inti, I'm going to be pretty pleased. Is Inti an Incan sun god? Is that Yeah, flavor? it is. Okay, uh, cool. Incan or Mayan, I'm not sure. Mm. But it is definitely the sun god. Uh, worth noting is I'm pretty confident John also does have ladies in his deck. Yeah. 
So uh, that Inti might just be backup. Uh, I think Inti is really good against the likes of Wraparound and maybe even oh, yeah, it's like it, Wall of Static. It is really satisfying against Wraparound. <laughs> Another snare. Okay, snare return to the end. John, okay. you made the right call. Yep. Also making the right call in installing a second Plascrete. Yeah. So this is a really cool thing is that even with all the Plascretes in the world, snare is still a problem. Yep. Um, install Advance Advance into that <laughs> server. Does he even have three twos in this deck? I don't even know. I don't even I don't know. No. I, I feel like he would run a deck without them and make you think he, he has might. them. He might. And if this is all three-pointers, I'm going for the punitive angle. I think punitive seems fine. Oh, man, punitive. But with all those plascretes, punitive is totally a, a problem. Um, yeah. Do you bite? Because I have no doubt also if this is installed advanced events, there must be advanceable traps in the deck as well. Okay, looks like he is account siphoning. So one uh, piece of ice on HQ and a high-strength barrier is the worst right now for John. All right, so that is... That is 12 strength to get 12 up, credits 12 to res, 2 12, to break. 12 credits to get up to strength. We're never yeah. going to talk right. <laughs> We're never going to talk right. So 14 just to break down that eagled wall. And that's not good to steal 10 credits. Because that account siphon is not for denial as much as it is to it's, gain it's economy. It's for economy right now. And, and that would not work at all. And you know what? I haven't seen Hadrian's Wall in a long time. And I might actually personally reevaluate it i think there's something worth using only two david tokens it puts david in a really <laughs> awkward spot that's a good point because a single david can only break hadrian's wall once while things like tollbooth can be break broken three times assassin's in the same spot and arguably might be better i mean hadrian's wall is such a it's at such an awkward point yeah like 10 7 is weird like firewall cost five five for five, five i think is not good with the ubiquity of david in our meta sure but I, I I'd rather have Spiderweb. Oh, there's another Pryrex. Another Pryrex, and you know what? No. That's another curtain wall. <laughs> That's another curtain wall. <laughs> Those are the best Pryrex. We <laughs> are now at game point immediately. If there is a hostile takeover in this deck, uh, that is game. We could draw for that real hard. But the problem now is anything that's installed or installed advance advance, John probably has to run on. He absolutely has to run Unless on. Unless he wants to call a bet that could cost him the game. And what what do you what advanceable traps do you think John um, Dom is running? Dom shattered is, remains. Uh, shattered remains seems good. Uh, June bug would be great. June bug. It's Dom. I've no doubt there's at least one June bug in this. He's deck. Got it. It's Dom. <laughs> um, maybe secretary. Ooh, secretary is okay. Yeah, that buys you a window. It uh, looks like John's going to keep drawing, get out that R&D interface. So He's got to. I think you need cards like R&D interface against Blue Sun. If you're going to pay all that money to break through a current wall, you're going to want your run to be real good. Yeah, you're going to want you're going to want a good run. With three pointers in uh, Dom's deck, it might be obvious that... Oh, uh, it, well, it not maybe obvious, but like I think a really good R&D run could have a huge swing in the game. Sure. And install Vance Vance. Oh, no. <laughs> this could be quite a short game. Just behind one piece of ice, though. Single piece of ice is admittedly a bit dodgy. In best, that is a current wall, which John does. Uh, sorry, Dom does have the ability to res for 14. Yep, and he would have two credits left over to activate either Secretary or Shattered Remains or Dream yep. Bug. So we know that it can't be uh, Cerebral Overrider. That right. requires three. He can <laughs> also just not res, which puts you in a really weird spot. <laughs> uh. But there's not that much ice that will keep uh, John out besides something like a current wall. It looks like we are going to take uh, take a run at this server. See if we res this. <laughs> yeah, count it up. What can Inti do to me? Yeah, what can Inti do? And it's probably not good. Also, you do have a clone ship to SMC. You will have to trash a program, I think, sure. to pull that out. But you could pull something like a sharpshooter. If that's an assassin. Maybe a deus ex. I don't know if there's a deus ex in this deck. Boy, that would... Bring back the SMC right now would be rough. You'd either lose the Magnum Opus. Yeah. Or you lose two of your others. I think you'd toss the Inti, right? I mean, yeah. <laughs> you, you would toss the Inti. Uh, deus ex also could be pulled out if that's in the deck. So if you hit a June bug, things are not so bad. Well, you have to pull uh, it out ahead of time. And we're accessing that's a Project June bug. Oh my. That's two advancements. So for one credit, we can do four net damage. Plus green armor is not going to help you against that. Uh, still though, okay, four cards down. That's a levy. That's a levy gun. That's the lady gun. That's pretty good. One card in hand. Mm. Go ahead. Oh man, uh, two plascretes. That's huge. If there's only one plascrete, that is sea scorch scorchable. Mm-hmm. Two plascretes. Maybe double neural EMP. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tom has a hard time playing not Jinteki, it seems. And you yeah. know what? I think he just drew a punitive counter strike. Well, when I was sitting next to him and I saw him playing Busan, I said, it's surprising to see you not playing Dinteki. He showed me the card he had installed, and it was the snare. Yeah. And he was, of course, playing the mind games with the player across from him, saying, go on, <laughs> just run. It's 3-2. And showing the card to me, 
yeah. I know was a double mind game. That's a. I was I was complicit in his all levels game. of of. We're going deep at that point. Uh, looks like he does <clears> not have the kill option in hand. You know, we've seen punitives, and some of the option is: Do you run on that server? Uh, <laughs> it looks like we're just gonna ice up. Great. Now, yeah. of course, it's important to remember Inti does retain strength throughout the run. Yes, that is probably the saving grace of Inti. That is efficiency. Yeah, so in theory, if we have double curtain wall, joke's on you. It's only going to cost three to break the second curtain wall. Second curtain wall will only be strength six anyway. Yeah, so that's quite all right. Uh, same old thing's going to hit the table, and we're going to use that same for a levy. Cool. So I think there are two levies in this deck, but uh, I think... One of them uh, is gone. One of them is now out of the game. John <coughs> probably wanted to use that levy a bit early. He did have maybe six or eight cards left in the deck, probably a bit more, actually. Cool. But uh, I don't think you want to lose that levy to some sort of random damage. Or lose that same old thing, right? Because then you'd be in a real bad spot. Oh yeah, absolutely. You want to you want to use it in case something goes bad. Yeah. Also worth noting from the last game we've seen that John does have a Faust in this deck. Uh, Faust is a really scary breaker to use now that you know that June bugs and snares are around. <laughs> yeah. Let alone meat damage, probably somewhere. Uh, Lady Luck gonna show up. Let's get former credits. Uh, there is some disparity in economy at this point, and Magnum Opus could fix that, but it's gonna take a whole turn of tempo. Uh, we're gonna overstate AI. That's a current wall. Dom, stop it. <laughs> this is too much. So if we <coughs> want to shut that down to deny the overstate AI, that's gonna be a whole. I feel like John lot is gonna. Money. He's okay. He's gonna quality time. Yeah, let's get in that uh, that good old time at home. Yeah. Uh, five cards. It looks like he's looking for something. He's digging for an answer. I'm not sure what <laughs> his answer could be. His, his answer says, "Dom loses." That's the card. It's a. Does he have that? It's a proxy? I think, I think <laughs> it's signed by Benoit. <laughs> uh, same old thing is on the table. Remember, Siphon is around, so in theory, things can land. We don't know what's protecting HQ. Access on HQ also seem pretty rough, considering we know where snares are. That's but, true. We know there's a snare in HQ. Yeah, That's at least point. one. And with three RDIs on the table, <laughs> we could... A run on R&D is seeming pretty good? Again, with multiple snares in the deck? Seems yeah. Seems pretty good, question mark? Sure, sure. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Curtain wall. <laughs> Um, that lady could do a lot of work against that current wall, but it looks like we're going to let that, uh, return to center. Uh, technically you have to do that before you draw, but, um, that's okay. Yeah. That's we, play, okay. we play friendly games here in Montreal. Yeah, this is just a game night kit, I suppose. Yep. Um, 14 credits to return that piece of ice to HQ. We can now put that back in Reddit. We just made, uh, a lot of money for not a lot of clicks. And that is Blue Sun. Hey, Blue Sun. And so, okay, if Dom is only running three-pointers... To score is going to be difficult. It's going to involve install advance advance and then not having a bluff called. Yeah. Which you know, but he might... can totally deal with a bluff. Like he's got so much money. Okay, because can... install advance advance will almost never kill John. John has a lot of card draw. It will tax his deck out with levy and stuff like that. Yeah. But it will never kill him as long as he exits with enough cards in hand. So I don't think there's a reason not to check. But the, like he could. Ta he could put out a three-pointer, tax John Easily. really hard on one turn, and the next turn and John would have no way of contesting. Yeah, and go for another three-pointer, because John will need probably three agendas to win the game. Yep. And it's already two, uh, six to zero, sorry. So uh, it looks like a bit of an uphill battle. The lady is in John's hand. We are a bit shy on MU, so I reckon the lady is the upgrade, the direct upgrade to the anti. Yeah, you'd reckon. Yeah. Another or, lockpick coming out. we're thinking there's a code gate out there. Yeah, I think there's definitely code gates. Maybe there's one huge code gate. Toll booth? War wormhole? Wormhole, wormhole, toll booth, both okay. Even if you run into something like an Orion, you can break that with code gate. That's a good point. Uh, H1, she's coming out. Okay, we Lady. upgraded to Inti. So now if uh, Dom wants to go for the overstate AI into a curtain wall, that could be contested for not that big of a tempo hit. Um, it might seem like contesting money at this point. It could be moot. <laughs> Not no, sure if it's necessary. Uh, Behind two Plascreed, money doesn't seem like that big of an issue. Unless okay. there's something like an Ash. Yeah. Uh, I think Dom So Dom another June he, he didn't return that card to hand. He did not. So maybe it's a snare, maybe it's an upgrade. Maybe it's, he just wants to leave it there because he has nothing to put there yet. Yeah. Yeah. I guess you only want to pull the snare if you're going to put something down there. Yep. But I guess he wouldn't run on the card now anyways. No, but you don't have to reveal it to snare. That's true. That's true. So we are having a nice deep thought about this. <laughs> um, 
So also one June bug gone. How many more June bugs could there be in the deck? June bug is only one influence. It's only one influence, which is absolutely surprising. One influence and one credit to fire seems like something. You yeah, could but put it, into a lot of decks. Zero to trash makes it real a real liability sometimes. Right, right. But that's the kind of card where if the corp the uh, runner sees it and trashes it, the game has changed. Yeah. Like suddenly other play windows have opened. Any install advance advance seems is second thought over. It was, it's funny. The biggest best memory I have of Junebug making the game change is when I was playing against Dom, maybe the first time I ever played him when I first started out. Mm -hmm. I was playing an HP deck and had included one Junebug bluff. Right. He, he saw it and trashed it out of R&D, but the game done changed. Yeah. And now he's not <laughs> like he said, oh, <laughs> this guy thinks like me. <laughs> I get it. <clears throat> uh, looks like that server is actually just a Jackson Howard. We're going to draw up. Uh, yep. That might have been telegraphed a bit. Dom did do a bit of digging into his archives, see what's there. That's a good point. Uh, yeah, I guess uh, I like Shattered Remains, even as a one of in a lot of decks. If For you're running sure. into things like Nexus Kate or Nexus anything, it's pretty good. Uh, it's Trash is a console late in the game. Trash is a program, too. Usually. Yeah, it usually does. So, uh, yeah. That's pretty all right. Gets rid of those clone chips, gets rid of uh, RDIs. A lot of times you run yeah. into that. Everybody has hardware these days. Yeah, everyone right. has hardware. And there's no way to recur hardware, mind you. Right? Deja yeah, vu. That's, that's the only way, point. I guess. Not even trade-in. Trade-in? Yeah, it doesn't work. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Not Tra even trade-in. Trade-in doesn't work, period. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's okay. Deja vu is the only way out. So I like a single Shattered Remains. A lot of times, install Advance Advance. Even if they don't have hardware, if they'll check it, that's a pretty good tempo hit. Yeah, sure. Um, I'm Having okay traps that. you can advance is valuable in and of itself just to tax yeah. them. Yeah, but once they see that in the archives, the game has changed. Yep. Uh, so <laughs> another remote has come out. It looks like John is going to check that, but... Uh, I'm guessing it's a double Jackson. Probably double Jackson. First one has to be popped. Mind you, Jackson is unique. Not something that comes up very often, but if uh, Dom was to res the second Jackson, if that's the second Jackson... First. So? first one would have to go. So you're going to want to use one those at a time. in the reverse order. Three face on cards, and what do you know? Jackson Howard, he hey Jackson. is back. He did not go very far. Um, at this point, we only have face-up cards. Of course, we're bringing back the June Bug. So June Bug is an easy choice. And you know what? I think Dom actually stops here to have a laugh and consider there's yeah, no other cards Yeah, maybe he I won't need. even. He doesn't need money. Because, yeah, you don't need money. He even has a curtain wall still rest on the table yeah. in case. It's like the, all, the only thing you need for this deck is June Bug. Um, so now uh, Julian's Infiltration Adam deck seems a bit better. That's a good point. Yeah. Still it already seemed it already seemed pretty no, good. No, it seemed great. But, uh, but uh, infiltration uh, is a fun card. Yeah, drive by also. Drive by. Well, drive by is a great card. Drive by is pretty cool. It looks like we're actually gonna opt to pull back some other cards. OAI. Okay. Well, you know, to Res an Archer, yeah. maybe he has one of those. Maybe another restructure. Remind you. Uh, sorry, this is uh, account seven deck. So having a little bit of extra having cash. some operations to play is okay. Remember, it's gonna be if that's a Hadrian's Wall on HQ, that's ten credits to Res. Yeah. That's a pretty big hit, considering there's three ice on the remote that you want to res to protect something. That's fair. Yeah. Money still matters. It's very easy for Blue Sun to go from a lot to nothing by just resing two pieces of ice. Yep. Uh, I th think that was just some more money for John. Stall advance advance. Okay. All right. Let's go, game. Let's do this. This could easily now, be game point. Even if there's one June bug in the deck, he might have drawn it. Although I think we saw at least two. I think we saw two. Yeah, yeah I'm pretty sure there's two. Uh, so now we have reached that the fork, fork in the road. Either game point or June bug. I don't think June bug is gonna kill. No. So do you do you definitely run then? Or I think you have to run. There's no reason not to run. I mean, he could just like build up for a power turn on R and D. You could, but you could lose the game. You could be. You might lose the game if it's if it's a taxing trap. What about if he and continues the next turn, to advance it? Right? Why would he continue? Because there's one agenda that you can do that to. Oh, man. If, well, two. If that's a vanity or a government takeover, at some point you that's have to true. run if it. That's true. he wins with 12 agenda points. Because like, I think running a card when it's one <coughs> advance or two advance is the best bet you have. Running it when it's yep. four advanced or six <coughs> advanced seems like... That seems bad. Sure. Yeah. Uh, so we are going to uh. check that curtain wall. <laughs> Into the spider Poor web. lady. So the lady is basically done just on those two pieces of ice. And those can be returned to hand. And you're going to have to come back to this. So far this deck is we've only seen barriers. Which is honestly not that bad of a play against uh, shapers. Remind you, in the color chart, shapers are meant to be bad at fractors. Yep. So, uh, oh, I mean, I think they're supposed are they worst at sentries and bad at fractors? Yeah, I think so. Because I think each of them has like one medium. Good. Yeah, they have like That's mediocre. Right. Yeah. Yes. And um, we're pulling back the Inti. I think it's Inti's time to shine. Yeah. 
Yeah, I got that one. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so Indy's coming back. I think John uh, forgot that he completely broke the spider web. So actually pulling back that Indy was a bit preemptive. Pre- it was premature. Yeah, there's no need to do that. But that's okay. Indy's on the table. Uh, you're going to have to install something anyways to trash that lady if you want to bring the lady back. Uh, last piece oh, of ice. Boy. Inti. 12 credits. If that's a curtain wall, you can't res that. If that's a Hadrian, you can. Uh, we're having a good thought about this. And looks like... No, and an axis and... Oh, well, jeez. Okay. Yeah. Pretty too bad. Yep. One credit for four damage is pretty good. Four cards out of hand. Nothing that useful besides the clone ship, I guess. So that's okay. Yeah, I guess he doesn't need the SMCs right now. No, I don't think he needs He's SMC. happy with don't that. don't even have the MU. Yeah. So we're back where we were maybe a couple turns ago now. We know there's one June bug in the archives. Uh, John seems to be sitting pretty safe before behind all that armor with even only just one card in hand sure uh this yeah, is the point that, that can be done at this point i guess install advance advance of a contract killer maybe it could be lethal at some <laughs> point i do love contract killer an unadvanced contract killer could be death at this point uh looks like we're gonna put another piece of ice and bring it back up with the oai and this is really good temple play after uh john spends a whole bunch of money contesting a server that's yeah. when you oai it's not mm-hmm. at the point where you could uh, sure and he's installed a new card in that server right so again if that's a two-pointer that's a rough spot to be. That could just be a, could just be a snare. Yep. Anything could be a snare at this point. So again, the math is on NT. 18 to bring it up to strength. Yeah, three to break. Three to break. But at that point, spiderweb's only three, and anything behind that is only as many as subroutines if it is a barrier. Yeah. Of less strength, which I think has to be, right? 10 strength barrier is yes. probably the strongest? No, Wotan? Well, does Wotan go to 11? Maybe. Maybe 10. I don't know. Uh, that's fine. Uh, one card in hand, I don't think you have that many options besides draw, right? Yeah, you just gotta draw. Yeah, I think you just draw. And John's decks are usually pretty good at drawing. That's the concern. Unless he's counting up for a run. Yeah, because you know, this could be the window you need, but if that's a snare, that is the GG. Not sure if you want to do that. Maybe he's just gonna run to trash the curtain wall? That would be crazy. That'd be pretty cool. Would it, yeah, would I think be? that's what he's considering. I, I don't think money matters. Why well, 22, you know what? It might. It just might. Uh, but it looks like we're just going to magnum a couple times. Get all that good, <laughs> good free money. Uh, curtain wall, return okay. to sender. 14 credits up. We're at 36 to 20. So you know what? As much as I don't think magnum mattered that much in the last games that we saw, this one's doing its work. This one is doing its work. Yeah. Because account siphon can't. Yes. Because I think Magnum and Account <coughs> Siphon together seem a bit uh, redundant. Yeah, so I guess it depends on the game. Yeah, so I guess it's matchup dependent. Oh, I guess we're, that lockpick should have three recurring credits on it. So uh, that, we'll see that's, if that matters. That's a good point. Yeah. Not expecting big code gates here, but again, no, Wormhole not. maybe, Tollbooth maybe. Yeah, Wormhole maybe. Yeah. Uh, looks like Dom does have another June bug in hand. Uh, that card in the server wasn't returned, so if we want a June bug into that server, we're gonna have to install over that piece, uh, over that asset or what have you. Yep. That's a snare. That's a snare. Out of the game. Two Jacksons are done already. Hum. So we're not going R and D. We're like, this is the problem with all this big ice. Oh, hey, that's another Jackson. <laughs> okay. With all this really, uh, really big ice on this server, is that. John needs two things to contest the server. Firstly, he needs a whole lot of money. Oh boy, all the money. Yeah, and then he also needs a lot of cards in hand. And maintaining that sort of pressure, having all the cards and all the money, he um, doesn't have time to just do uh, a nice check on uh, on R and D. Yeah, he can't just he can't just poke around. Yeah, he has he to can. set up a turn in advance at least. He always has to be <clears> able <throat> to threaten that server because at any point in time, install advance advance can be a problem. Yep. So we pull back a June bug in operation uh, overstate AI and. Um, uh, a restructure <laughs> identical to the last Jackson, and but this time no curtain wall in front of it. No, no curtain wall in front of it. This one seems like an easier get. Uh, draw into a quality time play that that is going to put John into the position that he can contest that server. Yeah, does this one look too good to be true? This one does, but that doesn't mean it, anything, it, it means nothing, it, it means, means nothing. absolutely nothing. Also worth but, like, what's the worst going to happen? He did just quality time. A June bug isn't going to hurt him. A June bug is n- not going to hurt him. Well, it might put him back. He might have good stuff in hands, but it looks like just playing that, he's going to check. Yeah, and Inti's going to do real work against the spiderweb. Inti's super good for that. No, it's like five. Yeah, 
It's better. I mean, I'm saying, <laughs> like, I'm talking about Inti. I'm yeah. just trying to have, okay. And then we got a Hadrian's. So that is only going to be uh, 12 more credits. Uh, if you want to bring that up to seven strength. We're already at two, so that's okay. Yeah, it's only 10 more credits. Yeah. And then two to break. So we, we can go. check that. We're now down at four. If it's an NAPD, he can steal it. If it is, he can. But it is another June bug. Three June God bugs. damn it, I love this game. This is going to fire. We got four cards from hand. Again... Okay, that's okay. Quality time you probably wanted. Faust doesn't yeah. seem that good in this matchup. And you and I know that there's still at least one Junebug in the deck. I think there's two. I, I mean, I think he just was... Jacksoned in another one. He... Oh, you think there's three? Three to start Jacksons with? used two. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know how many to start with. That's <laughs> yeah. true. That's true. Yeah. Um. All right. Boy, things are not looking <clears throat> that hot. Uh, with only four credits, uh, this seems like a window if Dom has ever had one. But if he only has five threes, then that window is going to be... Okay, not yet. <laughs> sure, restructure. I don't know. Yeah, I think you have to, yeah. right? Because you want to be able to res HQ Ice <clears throat> and uh, that Ramon Ice. Yeah. And that's probably Kernwall to Hadrian, which is Yeah, uh, not to mention that Taurus that I'm really hoping is in front of uh, R&D. Yeah, you know, Taurus would do a lot of work. Go ahead. Uh, that is some money. We're going to gain 8, 4 to 12. <clears throat> it's not too bad for a turn. That is a day job. And uh, that window is closing. I think if Dom could have uh, gone for that, that was the time. It's all advance advance yeah. for the three-pointer. How about this? All the cards that give that trade clicks for two credits mm -hmm. are work-based. Like Magnum Opus is a, is a work. It's a masterpiece. Uh, hard what's... at work. Hard at work, yeah. And that's the one I job. Of. Yeah, they are. Right? And Armitage goes busting. That seems the best way to get money. What about the one... Oh, yeah, freelance coding contract. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's a job. That's a job. So jobs give you money in twos. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, it seems sense. more efficient than just making money not at a job. Yeah. Uh, and... That's theme, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. All right, install advance advance into the remote. When people say this game is rich with theme... Yeah, that's the job They're referring to the money stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the deep... Uh, economy um <laughs> diesel for three that deck is getting a bit thinned out we do have a same old thing on the table so a levy can be pulled out at any point if that doesn't get trashed uh, yeah but, but <laughs> there's another two advanced card in there so uh i don't think you can get that one no we can't uh you just can't you don't have enough money it's impossible looks like he's gonna run uh, hq oh, that's the hadrian's wall again well, yeah so 14 credits is just enough to res another kernel <laughs> yeah that's perfect if you want to break that with NT, that is a lot of money. It's like, what, 12? No, it's probably more. Uh, 14. 12 to strength. Yeah, 14. And then two more, yeah. So just get some money with that. We have cards in hand. This could easily be game if we do pull an advance, advance, advance. I don't think it is. I think it's a June book. Yeah, it could be. Uh, Dom is thinking, so it's probably... It's definitely not the winning agenda. Would he do mind games on the last turn? I don't know. There's no He's... point, right? <laughs> there's a point for Dom. Have you ever played against Dom? <laughs> Um, so I guess that's going to sit for a bit. Check that out. Because it, it, like any good poker player, you know that the hands you play are going to affect the, your next hands. Because people are going to look at the hands you played earlier yeah. and go into the next. So maybe he's already thinking about the game he's going to play against John in a month. He's yeah. going to make John think. I don't know. Yeah, I obviously in tournament play, I do make it. Like at the end of the game, don't reveal any ice that's not res, all that stuff. That makes sense. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I guess that doesn't have an impact. Are we going to return that Hadrian's to hand? Put another thing up there and... Continue advancing. Love it. Okay, we're in a weird spot now. Is it four? It's at that four, four right now, yeah. Okay. So if that's something like a vanity or government takeover, uh, that is going to be there for a while longer. No, vanity is Van next turn. Vanity's next turn. Government takeover is two, two more, more turns. turns. And if that's a June bug, that is lethal <coughs> if uh, John cannot draw up to eight cards or remove 22 credits worth of economy. Yep. Unless he levies into a quality time yeah. and then runs. Yeah, that's the only way, right? Yeah, that's the only way. Mind you, that will cost him eight credits. <laughs> so he's not getting there. So we're, it looks like we're going for government takeover. Uh, that's the idea, I think, because John just took all the money and Dom is going to install a piece of ice and advance it twice. Advance. So six to nine. Okay, six to nine is turn. possible. It is one yeah. turn. Uh, all the ice on R&D is on res, so you could run there, maybe try and get some agendas off the top. Uh, spend some money resing that ice. We know that's probably a current wall. Yeah. This is one of those moments when I wish you recorded the people's faces <laughs> while we while they're playing the game. <laughs> this is mostly about faces. I've actually spent a lot more time now trying to watch people instead of cards. Yeah. Um, and it's actually have a huge benefit. So we're checking that out. 
That is a kernel wall. Okay. So, Inti, it's your time to shine. This whole server is like 20 something credits. Okay, so <laughs> Kern Wall is 21 on its own. Spiderweb is three more. Hadrian's Wall is two more. Uh, I'm saying yep. it's 26. Yeah, it looks about right. And you know what? That's probably not that far off from a Croder. Yes! And that's a government takeover. That's a government takeover. Ooh. And that we're on bluff game was point. called, and all that's of last week. That all is of a game second. point. So now we actually have a very interesting game. And Dom took back the curtain wall, which means he can't install Advance and Advance something right now. No, he can't. He doesn't have an option, but you know what? Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Double punitive for government takeover. That is 12 damage. That goes through two plus creeds, and there's only three cards in hand. <laughs> that is GG. More, more good special effects, Andre. Uh, love that. <laughs> uh, really well played. Uh, so the top of R&D wasn't going to give it. There is a C source in there. Great game. Absolutely fantastic. So Dom set up a, a no a no win situation. It yep. was either run that server, spend all your money, and lose the two uh, traces uh, yep. on the punitive. I mean, or, R and D might have been the game. We don't know. I mean, it might have been. We do know. We now but, know, do know, but that know, was also totally worth a shot. Yeah, you could have ran that. That was a great fork situation. Absolutely, really, really well played. Um, very interesting. That was a lot of June bugs. That's the most June bugs I've seen fired in the game. <laughs> that was that, great. That's the best part about getting to match point with uh, Wayland. I've seen less June bugs fired in like a Cambridge PE. Yeah, this I know. Is, yeah, this yeah. is great. Yeah, once you can get to game point, you can really kind of uh, <clears throat> wrench the arm around of the runner, and they have sure. to play your game. I wonder if he has contract killers in there, because I think uh, that's another good bluff. Yeah, I don't know. Well, all those barriers. Real rough for Shaper. Um, well, hey, uh, thanks so much for watching. That was a real fun game. Yep. Uh, stay tuned. We have the last matchup coming uh, coming up right soon. Okay. Ciao, Bye guys. Advance, advance. Advance, advance. Advance, advance. <laughs>